on the hunt for our lights. We can't find them. They don't have them in stock. And I'm sad. Yeah, they, they had the spheres down there. I uh, think that's just the Those are all twinklies. Yeah. Yeah, ding, dang, Daniel. Dang, Daniel. <laughs> I think we're going to have to go with two of these. Bummer. Yeah. That's going to, is that going to be so many lights? It will be a whole light. It's going to get ridiculous. Previously, we had two sets of 60, which equals 120. And now we're looking at getting 400 lights. Like, not ideal, but would it be weird? Fire starter. That's a cool light. Simply Would it be weird to like mix these in with the blue one? Christmas time. You know? I got you. Maybe. Hmm? Nope. Nope. All right. Thanks, Target. Oh, wait. No. They're all called C6 lights. Yeah, it's like, super annoying. Those are the lights. size we need is C6, but also the color we need is C6. Yeah. It doesn't totally add up. Oh, it's yeah, like the pure white one. She's got me again. Yeah. Like, they have these plain guys in the warm white, but we want that style in that color. Yeah, I think two rolls is going to be our best So we need the spools instead. Okay, now do they even have two spools for us? Yeah, they do. Okay, now I think that's the next question. Yeah, right here. Okay. So that's what it will have to be. He's so fun. So I, I like the fox, the one that's lit up, but the moose is pretty cool. The moose is really cute. That's like what Tony wants in real life. Like, Yeah, if I could get one that's not lit tinsel or with clear mini bulbs. <laughs> Just but the dachshund. That, but at that price. And then also... Dino. The dinosaur. Would be that's cool. awesome. That would be our front yard for sure. Like a whole mm -hmm. Jurassic world. Mm -hmm. Plus bird. I like the presents over there too. The presents down at the bottom are very cool. I like them. Hi. Hello. Happy Christmas, almost. I think every video is going to start with that. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> um, we finally, we went and got lights. It, I say finally, but it really hasn't been that long. We <laughs> set up the tree the other day and then we went and got lights finally. A lot of them. And um, now we're going to put them on. We got a lot of lights. It's a lot more than we had in previous years. So we will see how ridiculous this looks, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't think it's going to be that many. Um, we came from, we had 120 and we could only cover like a third of the tree. Yeah, it was and, very, very spotty. And so, and those were like the cool blue lights. These are going to be the warm lights instead. Yeah. And there's 400 of them. So we tripled. So now it'll just cover the whole tree evenly yeah so it's not gonna be that many it yeah. might look like it a, sounds like a lot of lights 400 it, lights just but i think tripled. it'll work it'll work yeah but yeah we're gonna get started and we're gonna time lapse that endeavor so here we go here we go just testing all of them look good they're brand new so they should be yeah, they look weird on here because of the like recycle on them. Do they look weird on the screen? Yeah, it's like some of them aren't even lit up and then they light up. It's really weird. I think that has to do with like the shutter speed. Yeah, it's like none of those are lit right now. Weird. And now here they go real slowly coming on. It's so strange. But yay, lights. They work. The official Christmas tree decorating song. Yeah. Lights, lights, 
lights, lights, lights, lights, lights. <laughs>this is this year's final project this is how it turned out we're pretty excited it looks really good this year um, this is like we were saying we got the new lights this year and so it actually looks like it has the appropriate number of lights for once so that is pretty exciting for us um, but I just want to kind of take you around and show you some of our favorite ornaments um, some that just mean a lot to us. We generally buy a Christmas ornament pretty much every time we travel. Um, not necessarily every time, but quite often. And that's mainly just so that at the end of the year, come Christmas time, we can put up all of our ornaments from the past year and from all previous years. And we can just get all of these ornaments together and it really just highlights all of the amazing places that we have been able to travel and really reminds us of how fortunate we are to live the life that we do. Um, but yeah, it makes our tree just that much more special to us and unique as well. And so I'm just going to kind of take you guys around and show you some of our favorites. So we'll start over on this side of the tree. How many of you guys have an ornament like this or a similar ornament not necessarily an angel but like kind of this made out of like straw I guess um, I saw this and was really excited to get it um, because I remember growing up having one of these on our tree and um, a lot of our older family members did too and it just I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of like simpler times and what ornaments must have been like long before we had these like Starbucks ornaments and other you know kind of kitschy things um, so it, I mean maybe it, it looks kitschy on its own but 
I don't know, I kind of love it. And it, again, it just kind of reminds me of family and simple times and really just kind of what Christmas and this whole season's all about. Moving on, yes, of course we do have, also we have the Starbucks ornaments, of course. Um, we actually have a ton of these little guys. They have so many ornaments this year from Starbucks and I want all of them, but we already have a ton. I think there's like five on our tree. Um, that I'll show you kind of as we go around. Um, so this little guy is just kind of like made of tin um, and hand painted. Um, and I have a couple of these guys and I got them at a Christmas market um, just a couple of years ago. It's just kind of fun and whimsical and actually got him and this guy as well as the Santa for us. And then I got a bunch more because they were fairly inexpensive a bunch more and gave them to family members that year. I always like to give people teeny tiny little ornaments like that that they can kind of stick on. Like it's not going to dominate their tree, but it's just something that, you know, as they're unpacking, they can kind of think of us and hopefully think of us in a positive way. Another Starbucks one, of course. <laughs> um, but then there's like another one that mom got for us. Um, just kind of a fun little thing. And again, like I was saying before with us getting people ornaments, we grab that out year after year and we think of her. So it's pretty fun. There's a Santa that matches the snowman from before. Um, here's another little snowman. I got this one at a Christmas market in Germany. It's just kind of a hand carved, hand painted little guy on wood. He has like a little twine string, pretty fun. Then he's right next to our silly kitschy little camera from Target um, probably about eight years back. They still do like basically the same uh, camera ornament year after year, change it just a little bit each year, but they do those and like the camera, the Xbox controller, hot dogs, stormtroopers, all sorts of little things. Here's another one from traveling. This little guy we got in Ireland and he's just like a silly, fun little Irishman. Um, and he kind of, he has like a little spring in his back and in his butt, so he kind of like wobbles a little bit. Obviously he's not wobbling since the tree's stationary, but he's pretty fun. And he's just serving this little pint of Guinness, which is pretty awesome. See, this year my dad bought these for Tony and I. He saw them at Costco and sent them to us in early November. Um, so that was pretty awesome. We've seen similar ones at Kohl's and Target. Um, so you can get these little guys, even like the Disney store, of course. So you can get these guys everywhere. But um, these ones that he got for us are really nice and they came in some super nice, high quality boxes. So they were really safe um, in shipment and then they'll be really safe again year after year as we package them up. We did have one casualty this year and it was like this big ruby that actually kind of matched this guy. It was from the same store. Um, so I usually like to package things up really safely. And actually that was packaged up safely. It was me being Butterfingers when I was unpackaging it. I just didn't even realize that it was real glass and was just being reckless with it. This little guy, another wood carved one. This one's actually from um, a Christmas market in London from about two years ago. More Christmas market finds. Um, obviously these ones are from the Netherlands. Um, we didn't get them actually at a Christmas market. We got them, I think we were in the Netherlands in like October one year. Um, but of course they sell ornaments year round at all sorts of countries. So we always try to grab one. Um, and we actually have the little clogs like this that sit out on our um, shelves all year round and then during Christmas time obviously we pull out the ornaments to hang on the tree. So they're pretty fun. And then this little guy, Santa, um, he is wood carved and we got him at a Christmas market in Germany. Um, this little one is from the town of Terramino which is in Sicily. Um, they're like really known for their lemons. Um, they produce a lot of citrus and nuts and so we got a little cute little hand painted ornament with lemons on it. It kind of matches the tree, which is pretty nice. This is another one that we got in Italy. It's super heavy. We actually have to use two branches to hold it up. 
um, but it is hand painted and just really nice. Really nice quality and it wasn't too expensive, which is pretty cool. More Starbucks cups here and up here. <laughs> the little guys are everywhere. It's another hand painted ornament. We actually got it at a German Christmas market, but a lady from the Ukraine hand painted it. Um, her family actually like carves and makes the ornaments and then she paints them and she was actually in her little stall at the market um, painting them and so we grabbed quite a few from her and gave them as gifts so that's pretty cool we have this little guy on our tree and then um, some friends and family members have similar ones so it's pretty awesome and then it has her name on it there we go um, at that same Christmas market in Berlin. We got this one. Um, it's They do a lot of these wooden thin slices that are then carved out. It shows kind of the skyline and this is almost exactly what our view was during this vacation from our hotel room. Um, so it just perfectly summed up the trip. Of course everyone remembers Miley and her wrecking ball. Um, we already did the whole gold ball thing we had them on the tree and so when I saw this online I was like oh my gosh how perfect and easy is that just take Miley print her out stick her on done deal another fun little Mickey and Minnie glass one um, this one is a gift from my mom these little guys are new um, I got them at the Christmas tree shops I like to pair up little um, matchy ones like the Mickey and Minnie were together, and then like these guys are together, and these little peace doves are together. I don't know why I do that. It's just so they have a little buddy on the tree. Yeah, that's pretty much all of our like big, fun, unique ones. We have tons and tons of ornaments, and there's actually, we have a bunch more that I didn't even put up on the tree that I'm putting on smaller trees elsewhere in the house. Oh yeah, there's one more ornament, <laughs> this one. You guys have probably all seen. Um, we got it at, I think it was the Hallmark store. Let's see if I can push the button. Super fun, I love it. Um, we That's like our first like ornament of the like Hallmark Disney ornament line. Um, I don't know if we'll like start collecting all of them. They have so many, but that one we just couldn't pass up. They had another one of like Belle and the Beast, but, um, or no, it was the, I think it was the stained glass window. That's what it was. Um, but this one we were just like, that's perfect. It plays music, awesome. And obviously it doesn't just sit there and play music all day long, so you don't even really enjoy that element of it, but oh well, how could you pass up on the castle? So that is our tree tour for the year, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so let me know what style you decorate in. Hope you enjoyed our tree tour. Thanks for watching guys.